Come on then, let's move up. Ready to hit him next turn. If he goes for me. Damage blocked by burning armor. Magic armor. Uh, we, I think we just need to get in here. Meanwhile, that thing. Oh no, he's moved! But did 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 he see Beast is the question. Because if the answer is no, then we're going to do an assassinate, which I don't think I've ever done. Shame he's got stacks of armor still, but hey, it's what it is. That was a very big hit. Nice. Uh, nothing much else to do, I think. Enter. I haven't had to use any sauce so far. That's not to say we're there. Um, air damage? I can do Thunderstorm. It seems a bit much using Thunderstorm for this, doesn't it? Let's go for Hail Strike or Ice Fan. Neither seem terribly great. What's that one? Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning's better. And for a source point, it's much better. Boom! Dead. Let's just walk back over there and just stock up on that source. Let's get the gang together, rest up, and casually walk up there. Like the legends that we are. We want to stroll in like the crew from Reservoir Dogs. Can I loot it? I can loot that thing. Were there only two sentinels? We've got identical stuff. Yeah, there's stuff over there we can go and loot as well. I mean, there's only two sentinels so far that we've seen. There might be something more. Oh, hang on. There might also be some corpses to speak to. A laser ray scroll. Let's see what this is. That's a pretty nice one. Oh, we lose the captain's compass. The captain's compass is 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 <laughs> is well out of date there. I'll lose the I don't need the lucky charm. Everything else is perfect for fame. What what? <laughs> How come we we're still using this? Take that out. We have the option of, I mean, as good as anything, a giant flame rune of power. Three intelligence and 6% crit chance. I don't think there's any choice of, of anything going in that, anything else. Crit chance is 25%. That's not bad for a magic user. What was that flashing? That was highlighting yellow over something. There's source down there. Why is there source down there? Why does that imply we come out of somewhere? Is there anything to loot? Is there any other reason to go down? I don't see anything. I'll go back and check for the uh, ghosts. Sharp claw and a bowl. Right then, ghost time. There might be an opportunity to speak to someone here. Or there might not. Right, if there's no ghost here, then I'm not going to go standing up there either, so. And thus, the story of our companions comes to an end. I want to save this. Do we all go in? Knocked down. So good of you to come, God Woken. You know, you are many things, but above all, you are reliable. 
Reliable to the point of being predictable. You came to the wellspring. I followed. Wow, they got through all that stuff. Unknown and hidden. I have the Savage Sortilage on Fane, yes. I don't think I've picked it up on Ifen. Uh, so yes, I got it for him. The Lady Vengeance is, after all, my ship. And now here we all are. And for anyone watching that's not sure what the Savage Sortilage talent is that Goldbullen referred to, it's the one that allows magic spells to crit, which without that talent, they don't. Which I didn't realise at the start of the game. <laughs> Uh, they don't have a chance to crit. You like saving Alex for this scene with Dallas? You thought it was funny? It is time, mistress. She gives you a long and steady look, as if it is the last time you shall see each other for the rest of eternity. Then she dips her chin in acknowledgement. You are almost her equal. I'm on Fane. I want to be on... Why am I on Fane? I'm sure I had him selected. He got knocked down though, didn't he? Yes, Breederman. It is time. She raises the Aetiran. Like a divining rod to water, it seeks the wellspring and finds it. The device hums to life. The Magister Crusade. Well, well, well. We are done, mistress. Yes, Breederman, we are done. And so too, Godwoken, are you. Soon you shall be little more than relics of a bygone time, and this place shall be your tomb. That looks badass. Goodbye. The arena of the one. Well, I wonder if there might be another way to achieve our goals here. Let's see. So if you save Alex for this scene, he tur she turns him into a goo puddle. Nice. You might be wise to look for a way out of here. It might indeed. Really? <laughs> what is this, though? Because this looks... It's just a light source. It looks cool. We've got uh, the archaeologists up there. <laughs> They've got split up a bit. Um, hmm. Okay, let's see where this goes. Well, I've got to say, none of that turned out quite as I expected. Any of it. The ritual has failed. The structure lies in ruins, but you have at least survived. You should feel relief, disappointment, confusion, anything but the rage that wells up from deep within you. The rage grows, burning hotter than the volcano itself, tearing at you, seeking to overpower your senses. The red mist wants to descend. The red mist feels like it does not belong to you. The red mist feels... Alive. This is relic inside of me, I think. And it wants you. A familiar figure materializes before you. A copy of yourself, enraged. Your own face glows at you in hateful fury. It opens its mouth. Oh. Okay. And your furious god begins to speak. You failure. Oh, I see. So, so <laughs> all this love and support and, uh, and and enthusiasm for me now disappears. Now he doesn't get what he wants, eh? You nobody, you weakling. Look me in the eye. I am Relic. I am God of this world. All that you are is mine. It shall be mine once more. Yield. Surrender yourself to your God that he may right your wrong. Yield to Relic, that he may be God of Rivalon. If he needs me to yield, then he is not as powerful as he claims to be. Laugh at the God of the past and his futile raging against the incontrovertible truth of his own obsolescence. I'm gonna do this, because these guys are turned out not to be nice. If you won't yield by your own will, you will yield by mine. Yield to me. The Nameless Eye. It is time for a new world order, I think. And these guys, they do have armor in different amounts. Relic, as you might expect, has a lot. 
So there is an opportunity here for something spectacular. Look how they're grouped up. I saved all my sauce for this. Why am I starting with more action points? Have I picked something that, uh, that does this? I don't know. I think just starting with a good old, a good old whirlwind is going to be a good bet here. And I can still do the onslaught afterwards. What else have we got? They've got the thick of the fight. I mean, that's tempting as well. I don't have the glass can cannon template. No, the tight uh, glass cannon talent. Uh, I'm going to open up. I am going to open up with a whirlwind. Doesn't matter who I aim this at. Smash! A couple of critical hits. Actually, did surprising the uh, large amount of damage. I think with that amount of damage, I mean, can I get them all in a battle stomp? Because two of them are going to just fall down straight away. Um, they were supposed to. I must have missed him. I'm tempted to do the blitz to get two attacks off. I'm going to challenge the embodiment of Duna. And then I'm going to really, really hit him as hard as I damn well can. I could do the... Uh, I could do... Oh, I can't do that now. I'll say that for the next turn. If I just do a massive crippling blow, do you think that'll be enough to kill him? If I get very lucky with this, it will. Smack! Not quite. Not in one go, anyway. Soul mated. Okay, someone else. That's the beneficial healing thing. That's a big heal on the embodiment of Juno. Hmm. That was not part of the plan. <laughs> We've got to go all out on the demon now. We're all poisoned. Which is never great. Uh, let's just check. Resistance to... Yeah, nothing much. Do I have a mass cleanse? I mean, it's burning necrophy disease and decaying. I don't have mass heal wounds, which would have been very, very handy for this. I'm wondering if I should summon something big and nasty, or should I try and try and do some healing up? Or should I just go, oh, hang on, hang on, maybe this is the time to unleash the thunderstorm for a stack of air damage. Is anyone resistant to it, but uh, immunity maybe not? different amounts of resistance to that. I think a better one is the Chain Lightning. It's going to absolutely just blast through all them, removing stacks of magic armor, perhaps not as much as I would have liked. And we're going to go for just healing up old Ace over there. We stuck in poison here. Poison is never a great thing to be trapped into. Can we remove it with first aid? Are they weak to poison? Not weak to it, but it is it is doable. I wonder if I should just move in really close and just unleash an arrow spray right in their faces. An embodiment of Juna, it's gonna hurt. But then so does this. Oh, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm standing in the source, so it'll suck it right back up. Let's see. They have my resistances. I, luckily, I then I don't have many resistances. I'm going to go for this because I don't use this stuff very often. The arrow spray. Zoop. That looks like it's...
there. I'm going to go for that. It doesn't hit anything up a different elevation, I've noticed. So it did really well there. It's nearly killed this thing. But it doesn't hit these at the back because they are slightly higher, which is a shame. So anyway, on that, what we need to do is bring down some hell fire. Poison, I'm reluctant to do it because of the, the fallout from it. I don't like, well, Hidden Pain doesn't mind poison. Uh, what have we got? No one's got much in the way of physical armor. So I could do an impalement. There's a worm tremor as well. Not protected by magic armor. They have they have a lot of magic armor. I'm thinking the uh, the epidemic of fire. This, this is the one that spreads, right? It spreads. Eat that. Challenge one. And now things are looking considerably weaker. I don't have a whole lot of points to uh, to spend there. Can we do a? Oh, oh, I nearly picked the wrong one, but um, he doesn't have magic armor. I didn't check. I got lucky there. Worm Tremor works with uh, the Torture Talent. Oh, I do have that. You're right. Yeah. Then use Black Shroud. That would be nice. Bring that in from Ifen. Okay, so I am still slowed, I think. So what I want to do is... Oh, I could Battering Ram into the middle here. One down. We go all in on Relic. Which might well, get rid of his armor anyway, which would be nice. Oh, I can't go all in because I've used two points. Um, there's this, but it doesn't do a huge amount of damage. I think a regular hit is my, my best attack here. Smack! I do like those big hits. He's down. It's over to Beast. I could go with... Who's next? This thing needs knocking down. Let's get rid of the armor. Is it worth using a knockdown arrow? I wish I had some knockdown ability. That would be my favorite thing to do. Like some inherent one. Critical hit, very nice. Where are they going? Source vampirism, okay, I don't need to worry too much about that. He says, I might be wrong about that. Beast is as weak as Beast has ever looked there, I think. We better have how much does that cost? I mean, I could really do with getting rid of this poison off here. I'm going to cast a rain spell. Followed by a heal. A good bit of regeneration. And that still leaves me. Beast should be okay. A nice big winter blast. Over there. The Templar. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. Just found your YouTube channel. I love your Hearts of Iron 4 series. Hope you're going to do some more. Uh, I am. I'll mention that in a moment. By the way, can you recommend a place to learn how to find four more in depth? We've got 30 hours, we still don't have a grasp to win the war. Yes, I can actually. And this is what I le learnt the game with. Uh, Goat, there's a YouTuber called Quill18. He's got it. He's been doing it a long time. He's, he's, maybe he's hit a million subscribers. Maybe he's more. I can't forget. But he's got a great tutorial series on how to find four. It's aimed at beginners. So it explains lots of concepts that I didn't have a clue about when I started the game because it is 
a very daunting game to get into. There's about three and a half hours worth. I know it seems like a long time. They're split into about seven episodes. Watch the whole lot. It explains a ton of stuff. Uh, so that's Quill 18, Q U I W L 1 8. I think I've sent a few people there, and I think uh, a lot. Oh, you've watched these tutorials? Ah, okay. <laughs> but still, the Navy and Air things are harder things. Um, no, I don't know anyone else. The only thing I could suggest, I haven't watched any other ones, so I can't recommend them. I'm sure someone in chat can. You can ask in our Discord. Somebody might know in there. But uh, you could probably, for the naval thing, you could watch my Great Britain playthrough if you haven't, because I, 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 that's, I'd go heavy into the naval there, and for the US one, although I make a bad mistake on the US, and the Japanese actually. And then for the air power, I think I did the best with the air power with the, with the German playthrough that I did. No, maybe I didn't on that one. Can't remember, I played Germany once and had an overpoweringly strong air force. It was, it was tons of fun. But that might have been one I did off stream with a friend, a co-op one. Oh, but about part of my point, yeah, I'm gonna do a France playthrough. I've bought the La Resistance DLC and that will probably be cut probably next month now. I'm gonna say next month, either end of September or, or sometime into October. So I plan to play Humankind through starting next week and then finish this off when I've finished Humankind. I don't think Humankind will be for one playthrough too long. Uh, should we go for a fireball over here? I'm feeling a little bit fiery. I, I can do a fireball. It's always a good option. Never a bad time to throw a fireball at people you don't like. I'll yield to none. And then we will hope that this crits, because this could be fantastic. And it is. Excellent. The volcanic discharge is seems to be locked in place. That's how you found my channel, by finding the German series. Love it so far. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, I have a UK series, which is my first stream of it. And obviously the UK really focuses a lot more on um, on air, sorry, naval power than, uh, than Germany does. So uh, I, I sort of split the ships up in different ways and I might hopefully make it clear and obvious uh, the simple tactics I use for um, sorting the Navy out. It seemed to work there. Or also the Japan, I do a big naval playthrough with Japan as well. So what's going to be the quickest way of getting him or her down? Smack. Oh! I am the last. I am the one. You are nothing. Well, this wasn't expected. By God, Beast is in trouble if this thing goes next, because I'm going to, I'm, I'm damn certain that's going to be an area of effect. 100% to fire. Not weak to anything. Physical damage ain't great, so air is the best bet. Air and earth for magic. We don't have those luxuries. So the sensible thing is that. And then the less so sensible thing is this. But I'm going to top it off first with an encourage. Five attacks, here we go. That's not bad. Yeah, I, I suspected something nasty in area of effect was coming. Beast is in trouble, but you stay in there, Beast. You stay in the cursed fire. And let's see if we can do some physical damage. And I'm going to go for... Is he immune to knock down this guy? He is not. So I'm going to save a knockdown arrow, but I need the best hit that I've got. I mean, that would be good. It goes straight through armor, but I don't want to ignore armor. So otherwise, the knockdown won't work. And I don't think pin downs a lot. I don't think ballistic shot. 266 to 328. 
And he's resistant to some of this, don't forget. Right, I'm going to try this. It's not a long-range shot, but it, I get a small bonus. There goes his armor. And I want that knockdown on. That was... I think that was worth it. Right, the trouble is I, he's now got a stack of magical armor to get through. Um, Earth is the thing to get through. Earth or air. You need to just heal, my friend. What do you have? Oh, this might be the thing to do. I can do that, but I, I can do with healing up Fane, who's in trouble. Steam Lance. It doesn't remove this, which I thought it might. I'm going to use a shields up. Prepare yourself. And I suggest you use a shields up as well and get that magical armor back. Uh, it's not on my bar. It is there though. A little bit of magical armor. Check the poison status on him. Oh, he's immune to poison. So it's air and water. I have a grenade. A thunderbolt grenade. It is not going to get through that armor, is it? I'm better off doing anything else just to sort of tie him up. Can I do a... Um, one of these? Target is too far. That is... It's one point. So let me... Let me move to there. too far. Anyone need a clear mind? What's that one? That's perforation. Uh, I don't think there's much I can do apart from set up a poisoning thing. Firebrand. Fire damage to weapon skills is immune to that though, so there's no point. I'll save the point. I can't see anything really nice to do. Uh, I think we've got him here, though. We appear to have got him. The Titan lies in pieces before you. The god controlling it is dead by your hand. Lava roils as earthquakes rumble around you. Shockwaves of sound pierce the air, the growl of shifting ground. Suddenly, a voice echoes in your mind. Cheers, Tiger Fabs, for the hydrate. I'll take another one for that. Is that one is nearly out. Um, I'm pretty good at Hearts of Iron 4. Well, I just play against the AI, which are easy to beat once you know how. I don't do multiplayer because multiplayer games, unless they follow a very strict set of rules to restrict what players can do, they tend to end up feeling like very unhistorical non-World War II games with the sort of policies and templates and meta game that people need to follow to, to be champions at multiplayer. So I tend to just play against the AI or co-op. I like co-op as well. How long ago did I start playing? Uh, if you look at the UK playthrough, the data uploaded to that, I've lost track of time. It would be a few months before then, the Christmas before then. So uh, I think I've got probably got 400 hours in it now, I think, across all the playthroughs. But that does include leaving the game running whilst I go away and do something else and forget about it. So uh, that's, that's, that's probably a bit inflated. It's Malady. Where the hell are you, she calls. Ah. Find my beacon. We need to get out of here now. Her voice crackles and dissipates in your mind. Not till I've looted these ones. Is there any way that this we can get rid of this? Because I don't particularly like the idea of standing in cursed fire. Uh, I think we will we will take I'm gonna lose this. 